something new. Here in the studio, I've made a, a small addition. You see it? Oh, it's a fishnet. Symbolizing the fact that we're fishermen of men. Yahushua makes us that. He didn't use fish hooks. That, that hurts the fish big old giant nail in their mouth. No, that's not the way you do it. You use fish hooks. I mean, uh, nets. You know, you, you read in scripture about them letting down the nets. I think that's pretty cool. Well, the, uh, what is it today we're going to study? Well, let's see. Uh, I thought I'd maybe mention again that he said, my people will know my name. And there's a great resistance against knowing the name of the one that created the universe. And we call on for salvation, to deliver, deliverance, for the forgiveness of our sins, and to ask him to help us, to come and dwell us. The name of the person that indwells you, do you know who it is? It's a, they call him a ghost, they call him a spirit, they call him a lord, a G-O-D, all kinds of things. But we know the real thing that dwells in us. We are his temple, so we know his name. His name dwells in us. We're not serene, the branches of his teachings. Teachers will often demonize other teachers to, pr to promote their understanding. The evidence of the true name spans millennia. And some of the oldest physical specimens, one of the oldest, is the lost linen stone that's right behind me. Well, it's a picture. But the stone is in New Mexico. And it's a gate stone that was etched by colonists sent out during the days of Shlomo. They call him Solomon. And that was around the 10th century BCE. That was 3,000 years ago. And in one of the images of this stone taken within the last couple of years shows that someone attacked it with a hammer. And the first couple of lines where his name is mentioned have been destroyed. But uh, pictures were taken before that destruction. And this, uh, this gate stone was etched by these colonists sent out 3,000 years ago. And it's in real Hebrew. It's not, Hebrew is only one script. It's not like the uh, Assyrian, Babylonian script that you see everywhere being taught. That's not the Hebrew script. It's a transliteration. But it's not the actual script. That's not something that Shalomo or Daud or any of the prophets wrote in. They wrote in true Hebrew. I use this image of the Ten Commandments with the real script in true Hebrew. That's the real name for Hebrew. Hebrew. In most all of my recent videos on YouTube, here on this channel and others that I share these same videos with, the attempts to keep people away from learning the true name in the four vowels, Yod, He, Ua, He, include these. The added vowel marks, or Nikud marks, by the Maserats, which was a Karaim sect, the Karaites. They invented these in the 8th century CE. Another attempt to keep people away from learning the true name is the idea that the real name is something else. Ahaya. Well, that's, uh, I deal with that. If you look through my videos, you'll see my explanation of how that happened. And here's the third. 
a more recent one. The false Egyptian pictographic letters everyone is seeing on the internet that are promoted, but never physically used to write Yahuwah's true name. Those are Egyptian characters, and the basis of that is explained in other videos of mine. You don't transli transliterate or, well, you don't transliterate, you, you translate when you're trying to get the meaning of something. But when you have a name, names are not translated, they're transliterated. In other words, the letters are used to form the sound. Now, another horrible thing that's happening with that third reason, you know, where they're seeing the Egyptian hieroglyphics, is they're using the letters themselves as definitions of pictographic meanings to interpret the meaning of the word. Yahuwah. It doesn't mean, behold the nail, behold the hand. It doesn't mean that. That's not the way you... Uh, get inform the meaning of a word. You use the, the Hebrew root. Yahuwah is formed, the meaning is formed from the word Haya. It means existence. And that root is where we get the meaning of words. Other words are used, or use other roots. The memorial name for all generations is presented in this research page, which I'm going to put in the link below in this video, and I'll put it up here on the screen. You look up fossilizedcustoms.com forward slash tetragrammaton.html. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next exciting video.